up guys so I'm gonna do another video this time I'm gonna show you guys how to grab the what was it it's called life split it's basically what I used to uh, you know like a timer for your speed runs or you can just use it for whatever you want to use it for so I want to do okay first you want to go to f open up your browser open Firefox and then we'll type in L I V E S P L I T live split and enter. Then what you want to do is click this one right here, the one that says live split.org. See, it says it's a timer program for speedrunners that is both easy to use and full of features. So, you know, it's kind of like you know, when people use timers to time people when in the Olympics. I don't know, I mean, it's not the same thing. This is this can be used to time your speed when you, how fast you can beat a game so you can read all that if you want but I'm just gonna show how it works so this is what it can look like once you've set it up so what you wanna do is go to downloads so we're gonna click this one right here live split 1.8.16 so they got a twitter if you wanna follow click here I go and then it says save file, click save file and click OK. It should start downloading, it's quick. Okay, there you go, it's done. Click on this little arrow right here. Then click on this folder. It's gonna open where you're gonna minimize that and then I'm gonna drag this live split here in the desktop. There you go. Then close this. See there's I got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> it's really <laughs> I got a lot of indie games. Okay, so let's see if this is gonna scatter. Yep, it's gonna scatter. So I'm gonna right click on the empty spot right here on the right. Right click, go to new, and go to folder. We're gonna name this new timer. And then we're gonna drag this into that folder. I'm probably gonna make another Mugen tutorial. Yeah, just, you know, just. I was thinking of what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do a look into the feature. So we are gonna right click on this. If you, you need RAR though, installed on your computer. Right click and then click extract here. So it should dump all the files here. There you go. If you wanna save this, you can. I guess I'll go ahead and put it back here. So once you've dumped all this file into that it's inside this new timer folder you're gonna choose the app so you're gonna this one right here with the symbols the three, co three colors it's called live split so double click on that and then it'll do that thing and then click yes wait what there you go blacked out for a bit so there you go you should see something like this this little number thing symbol what you want to do is right click on that and then you'll see all this stuff right here so what you want to do is go to settings see there you go and then it open up the settings for the we're gonna minimize this real quick so this tells you how to control your timer if you want to change the start split that's how you start the timer like the you know it'll start say number pad one okay so this Three. I'm trying to remember. Reset is three. Do split eight. Number pause none. Okay. I th what you really need to worry about is the first two. Start split and reset. I found a mess with the other ones. You can assign. All you gotta do is click on this and then just press any button. If you don't want Q. It'll. That's the button you gotta press to start the timer. Or you go back to the number, oops, or the number pad. There you go, number pad one. So, global hotkeys, see, allow gamepad as hotkeys. If you want to allow your gamepad to control your thing as well, then it's cool. Also, if you if you want to be able to control your time, this timer while you're playing a game, click on global hotkeys. And then if you want to deactivate it for other programs, click here. I'm 
going to disable loud gamepad side keys because I don't want to use that. So, I mean, that's just me, but you, you can do whatever you want, just mess with it. I'm just going to leave all these like, as it is. But if you want to change it, click on this and then I'll, I'll probably put one. This one, I'm going to choose two. So now I change it. Then once you, you're done, click OK. So what you want to do now is we're going to test it. So press the button you assigned it. And there you go, it's starting the timer. If you want to stop it, you press the same button again and it'll... That's your time, your total. Or the total, but... If you want to reset, you press the other button, which you assigned the reset button. So you right click, settings, so you can remember which one it was. So reset is the second one. And it re reset it back to zero. If you want to change this whole thing, you want to right click on it, go to edit splits. Then what we want to do is, uh, let's choose a, let's say Super Mario or something. You're speed running Super Mario. You type in Super Mario. So you're going to choose which Super Mario game you're playing. So there you go, Super Mario Bros. And then the, the category, see, it changed appearance because of what, what you did. So what the next category, that's the game name, so you can, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of Mario games. If you want Mario 64, there you go. If you want just a normal Mario, you remove the 64 and there you go. Then the next one is run category. You're gonna click on this arrow. You're gonna choose. So I don't, I don't really want to explain all this because it might take a while. But for example, any percent is really the most important one. If you're speed running and you're just not worrying about, let's say you want to speed run and then you skip all the levels. You're doing like warps and stuff because there's like pipes you go into the Mario games. You choose any percent. That's basically you trying to beat it, beat it as fast as possible. I think the world record right now is five minutes, four or something, four minutes and something seconds. Yeah, so they've finally broken the five minute barrier. Because, you know, five minutes used to be the fastest time to beat Mario, but now it's less than that. So you choose any percent if you're trying to attempt that. But if you're doing anything else, just click the arrow again. Warpless, that means you're not warping. That means you're I think you're doing every level. If you choose warpless, you gotta do each level, and you can't use the pipes. So you gotta do. So that'll take a lot longer to finish. If you're doing minus world ending, there's a lot of different stuff. See all stars, warpless all stars. But if you really just want to beat the game as fast as possible, and you want to use the warps, warps basically means skipping all the other levels. You know, like I said, the like, like using those warp stages, like the pipes, the, the hidden pipes you go with, with the beanstalk. If you use those, you you know get tr you can choose, you can skip the other stages, like so you can reach stage eight real quick. Choose any percent. So this is start timer. This this basically every time you. St or yeah, this basically starts the timer at whatever you want to start it at. You can change the number, but I'll leave it that. Attempts, basically how many times you attempt. Every time you re reset, this will add one more and it will keep going up in number. Here we go down here. If you want to add an icon, I guess you go, I don't know, either make one or f download it. You can add a mushroom or something, I don't know. Like a, like, not a GIF, but a... I don't know exactly what kind of. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that. Auto splitter for no, blah blah no whatever. We're gonna go to segment name. We're gonna type in let's say stage one, and then we're gonna type. In, in, if you wanna add another segment, just click it start below. See there you go. You added a new thing here. So let's say I forgot on me. Stage two. I 
go which yeah yeah sort of below and then you just keep adding stage three oops stage three then hit insert below again and then you can you can double click on previous ones and add more text if you want you know just type it in say world first Goomba area or whatever Goomba area I don't know just come up with something whatever you want once you're satisfied okay we're, we're gonna add one more stage for so once you're satisfied with all this you click OK and then we're gonna drag this and we're gonna test it again there you go every time you hit the the button for splits it'll go to the next one let's say you finish stage one you hit it and then let's say you finish stage two you press it again and then you you finish stage three you press until once you've reached the final stage of the the game and you beat let's say you beat Bowser or Koopa you hit that and that that's your file total time if you want to reset it and then it'll, t it'll ask you it says you have been you have beaten some of your best times do you want to update them if you click yes this happens so it'll save the time right here on this little segment right here and then you want to right click click edit splits what's gonna happen is you're gonna see basically the thing see it says attempt one and you know you got your times on each stage splits segments and best segment so every time you know every time you do it it'll let's say you do bad okay let's close this okay click it again see there's a minus this are three that means you did bad and six So I think if you do bad, you there you go. And that, that, that's basically how it works. So we're gonna. So if you want to make this transparent, I forgot. What you want to do is uh, right click. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out and remember. Edit layout. Is it edit layout? Okay, you want to right click here and edit layout. So once you've seen this, what you want to do is uh, go to layout settings. So what we're trying to do is we're going to make this transparent. And I'm trying to figure out how to do it. First we're going to do the thing. We're going to right click here. Oops. gonna remove that gonna right click add window capture we're gonna okay and then we're gonna choose the live split right here so we got the live split right here see that's the thing but now what I'm trying to do is make this transparent so you know that way you know it's we don't see it at least you don't see the so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to Windows Capture right click go to filters oops not that one I'm gonna close all this real quick right click filter so we're gonna make this transparent go to plus and then we're gonna go to chroma key I think Custom, let's see. Let's try custom. Go to custom. Then we're gonna select color. And then pick screen color. It's kind of complicated. Okay. 
Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Alright, so for this, we're gonna go to this. Right click on the Windows, Capture 6, go to Filters. So we're gonna make this all one similarity, smoothness, and key color spill reduction. And then we're gonna click select color. Go to pick screen color and then I guess we click here. Click OK. So now it should be transparent. I click on that same spot. Okay, close. Then we're gonna check. So now it's transparent, you can't even see it. But yeah, there you go, that's so what do we want to do so that we can see the title? Just right click here and go to edit layout, layout settings. Let's see I'm trying to figure out title and go to the title. Okay, it's on splits, so we're gonna remove that. There you go. And then Then go to text. Go here. Okay, it's showing something. Still invisible. This is weird. Maybe I did it wrong with the chroma key thing. See, the text should be able to change, but it's not. Okay, there you go. It's showing up. I was just messing with the colors here. Something a little brighter. There you go. Alright, that should be good. Okay. There you go. So basically what I did was mess around on the text and pick a color here. Maybe make it blue and then make the sound up all the way to the top. Click OK, click OK, click OK. There you go. It's another timer. It's ready. Let's test it again. Press the button. The timer starts. Click it again. See, you, it's red means on the timer means you're doing bad. You gotta do better. This basically means you're behind. So, yeah, there you go. And that's how you use live split. So hope you guys learned something. And how to okay later.